What is up everyone? This is Big Poner and I wanted to touch on something that I haven't touched on yet and that is the lower level sextants. So the thing is, is I feel like this season no one is using them and I'll be honest, they're not like, they're not the best. Obviously they're a lower tier sextant so they don't give us as good of bonuses. The thing is though, is I feel like players are not using them. And the question is, do I use them? Are they still beneficial to the point that I will actually use them? And the answer is yes. First off, they're very cheap to spam. So I wound up in a situation where I want to play Promenade. And currently I had uh, five maps that were rolled for elemental damage. So I, I kind of want to get rid of them. Because they're not like they're not like big maps like these that I'm saving for expensive stuff. They're just already corrupted. They have elemental reflect damage on them. So what is it that I did? I took and I rolled with the lowest level sextants and kept whichever the best ones were, and then kept rolling until I got the reflected damage. The thing is, these are so cheap, it doesn't really matter if I spam them a little bit. First of all, that you probably already have a stockpile of them if you haven't been using them. So this is a simple use that you can use them for to try and, you know, make it so you can use some maps that you possibly can't use. Because now I can run those reflect maps and get use out of them, and it didn't really cost me very much. It took me maybe like 10 sextants, which is like, I think like two chaos for three runs. And the other thing is, is I kept the ones that are the best. The thing is, is this is a good, this is a good roll right here. Quality bonus of maps applies to rarity of items found. The thing is, is the quantity on the maps is going to be the higher thing. So for instance, on this lower rolled map, it's adding the quality bonus to rarity, which means on this example, it's adding like 40%, well, over 40%, 46% quality uh, rarity to the map. So that's a really big boost. And then we also have, what were the ones I grabbed? Uh, 20 clusters of additional mysterious barrels. This isn't the best mod, but on a cheap sextant, it's gonna add some value to the map. The point is, is these may not be the best, and why are they not the best? because they don't allow you to get the best sextant rolls. But the thing is, is those best sextant rolls are not even that common. And if you do the, the sextant farming, the mass majority of the stuff you get are not those best in type sextant rolls. So you don't have the chance to get, you know, Nemesis Monsters drop one to three currency shards or Harbringers drop extra currency shards. But there is a lot of stuff that adds value to the map. And the thing is, is if you're not specifically, like for instance, right now, I want to spawn another Guardian, but I know that there's no influence built up on this yet. So I can at least run three Sextants, and I want to burn off those Elemental Reflect maps. So I am going to get extra value on my map, because look at what I have. I have three additional rare pack of monsters. This is the same mod that we get on the next tier and the top tier. It's just one less pack. So technically... For the value, this is adding more, more to the map per cost. Because if one if one awakened sextant costs four chaos, and these are five five for one chaos, then this is by far the best value for the for the for the cost. So these are definitely useful. And because I don't think anyone's using them, they're like super, super cheap. So maybe if you're in a place where, you know, you can't afford to run Awakened Sextants all the time, these these would probably be a really good choice for you because it's better to have some value added to the map. And like I said, you know, this is adding, this one is adding 20% rarity. And if you're qualitying your maps and and quality, ALK, and, and volleying them, you know, even if you are using Awakened Sextants, maybe you don't want to use Awakened Sextants on, you know, your lower maps like I'm doing right now. These aren't exactly my, you know, these are kind of the, the bottom of the barrel. So it's better for me to have something on the map than nothing. But do I necessarily want to invest, you know, the the four, four chaos per roll Sextants? And, you know, that's pretty much all I really had to say. I'll go ahead and run them and we'll see, you know what it is people like to have a little bit of gameplay in there but that's pretty much all i had to say about you know the sextants in general it's pretty simple i mean it's better to well let me say this when you start getting further into the game the thing is is you not only want to be running fast but as your character gets stronger you want to be getting as much as possible out of each map 
So the more you juice up a map, obviously the higher chances you have to get more stuff out of your map. Which is, you know, the whole goal. Hey. Got a bossy boss. Let's insta pop this fool. You better fall back, boy. Get pound. And Ugh, the mana one. Gross. I was getting, like, really, really lazy. Like, sometimes I'll just have, like, I'll just be feeling like everything I'm IDing it just isn't giving me anything. And I'll, I'll just completely stop picking up anything besides currency type items and you know eh, i mean i probably shouldn't do that but the thing is is when i did my when i did my level race last season i learned that th the reality is if i just run maps really fast and i only pick up the the currency type items i can still generate currency the reason why i'm not doing that solely this season sorry i had an alarm um the reason why i'm not so doing that solely this season is last season i was doing it with Harbringers in every single map, and we don't have that mod this season. Which we do have the Legion. I mean, technically, I could just be doing that with Legion. But the thing is, is the Legion currency drops really aren't that high of a of a profit margin. You know, we're kind of looking for everything that the that the Legion is dropping. And with the the Harbringers drop extra currency shards last season on every single map. That was um, a lot better currency generator because you know the they drop the a lot of the ancient orb shards and the ancient orbs last season just like this season kept on spiking in price. Hey, battle scarred hideout. I already have it. I've seen it like a bajillion times this season. <laughs> Probably because I'm playing promenade so much. Ah! Ooh! Ooh! I don't want to be a part of his stream. <laughs> that shit is nasty! This one's a pretty big one. What's on it? 127, baby. Hey, why is that coming up? Is this like popular right now? This late in the season? Is that thing actually worth currency? There must be there must be um There must have been some like really popular build with it. I doubt it's actually worth currency, but I'm honestly not sure. So I will carry it. And we will do a checky check. Man. This was a nice, um, a nice legion. 
I told you guys, the, the promenade be treating me right. And nice attack speed. Too bad it's got a bunch of shit on it. It's got the bunch of crap. Look at all that crap on the ground. Thank you, loot filter. Thank you, loot filter, for not making me have to see all this garbage. Double fossils. And they're all crap. It's kind of like delving. Get fossils, but they're all, they're all worth nothing. <laughs> or 99% of the time, they're worth nothing. Let's, 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 be, let's be correct about it. Well, I have to look at it. Because I love me some foils. It's a crap, though. It's a crap, though. Gotta check. Man, how did that get all the way over there? There's, like, one guy just, like, all the way over there. I ain't gonna. I ain't worried about losing a bobble. All right, come group up with your buddy. That's better. Let them share in the share in the attacks. All right, don't do that to me. <laughs> that attack is like so telegraphed alright I need the space tier 2 life tier 2 lightning eh. it ain't gonna sell for 50 chaos or more so it's garbage it's a crap Hey. Two high resistances. If it had like one more good thing and I could still craft on it. Then it would be worth picking up. Come on, spawn you piece of... <laughs> the, the metamorph pump fake. Where are you? Don't make me come over there. Dude. There we go. All right. Popped in buffs. Um, my dump, my dump is full. I need a new dump. Oh, 
need that there. Um, just need enough space for one run. The, the stash is getting a little bit over encumbered. I need to take the time to clean it out. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. It's not fun to clean up stash tabs. I'm running out of them though. I have too much crap in them. I gotta delete some old sale tabs. Some of them are like still selling stuff though, which is why I haven't deleted them out yet. It's probably because people are creating new builds so they need new starter gear. That is my guess. Hey, right at the start. Maybe it'll be a double. Sometimes the promenade, when I get these little ones, I wind up getting another one. Promenade has been being really good to me. Man, it, it's dropping some... Dropping some currency on me. I think it missed me. I haven't been playing as much this week. So I think it's like, come back to us, Poner. Maybe I saved up my, ooh, tier one flaring. Um, everything else is crap. That sucks. Uh, I'm gonna save those cause I love me some skitterings. What? Oh, it's a time lost. I wasn't even paying attention. It's probably going to drop me some piece of crap that's worth like 1k also. Maybe like 43,000 kills for 1k us. Why won't you pick up? Oh, of course. It's like, let's... After you have a problem with this spot picking something up, we're going to immediately throw something right back in the same spot. I love me some jeweler's orbs. I want an abyss. Hey! Uh, you know the game is loving me today. I'm just asking it for stuff. I want an exalted orb. <laughs> Give me an exalted orb. Hey, trying to jump up behind me, that's not very nice. Trying to get me with the lightning dudes. Hey, buddy. Stop trying to be sneaky.
86 Stagon. That's a basey base at least. Let's see. Let's see what it is. <laughs> yeah, it's just a base. Prevents me from having to buy one though the next time I want to craft. Myself a Stagon. No, thank you. All right. Einhar mission. Um, actually, we'll swap those. None of the good catalysts. What's up with that? What's up with that, man? Alright, well. And then I would just go ahead and throw up some more. Um, I'll go ahead and roll them. I'm not going to do another whole set because this is now a 22 minute video. Um, but... For instance, like I still have, I think I still have more. I still got two. Um, so I'll go ahead and do it. I'll show you guys. It ain't that hard to get. Oh, and a little tip. If you hold shift when you're doing this, even if you run out of the ones in your inventory, you can keep on spamming them. So initially, I'm just going to do all of them and see if I get... And then I'm going to roll over the worst one. So 12% increased pack size and unidentified maps, 25% quantity. This is actually a really good one for um, if you're doing unID'd maps, which like if you're volleying, you can collect up your unID'd maps. So this is a pretty good one if I had unID'd maps. I don't though, so I'm just going to roll over it. Mysterious barrels, I'll keep that. Um, these are all just common ones, so... Converts when killed is uh, corrupt in the area. I'm going to keep that one. Um, no, that sucks. Hey, quality bonus. Alright. Where's my... Come on, give me my reflect. <laughs> there we go. Um, I don't know exactly how many I used, but... That was like... Even if I used 20, which... I pro think I used under 20. That would be like 4 chaos to, to get that. And I got to select the other ones and pick out the best of the of the ones that I did select and then roll over the, the most common one. So it's not it's not a bad it's not a bad use of them when when you I mean you guys can see exactly how many I used because you saw me pull them out. But obviously I I can't view what I did before while I'm recording, so <laughs> but the point is is they're like they're like one five to one chaos or something. Let me find out exactly. Um, let's see. So one to six. So if I used eighteen or less, that was like less than the cost of one. Less than the cost of one. Oh, no, that would be... Yeah, that would be less than the cost of one Awakened Sexton. The Awakened Sextons are 3.5 Chaos. So, as long as it's less than 21 that I used, that was the cost of one Awakened Sextant. And I kind of got to, you know, pick and choose which ones I wanted. So, do I think that the lower cost Sextants are useless? No. Do I use them myself? Yes. Are they the main thing that I use? No. But I do use them. And they are adding more stuff to the map. They're adding more monsters, more rarity, more quantity. You know, I can 
spam those a little bit and it's not cost me some massive amount of of currency that's making it so the map is no longer going to be profitable because they are so cheap you can afford to do that so that's what i'm going to say i'm going to say i'm going to say these a big thumbs up <laughs> for certain situations anyways thanks for watching guys peace